So here is my setup for a wireless uh, full screen uh, kiosk mode uh, on a Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, here I have a 2.4 GHz uh, wireless keyboard from eBay. Uh, here is a, a WaveShare 7 inch uh, touch screen display. Underneath it's Raspberry Pi 2 and it's connected to uh, through HDMI and uh, USB uh, to support touch touches and here I have a two and a, two and a half amp uh, USB power supply okay so I'm just gonna connect it to mains So here we can see uh, Raspberry Pi booting and uh, it should automatically connect to Wi-Fi. I have a Wi-Fi dongle connected to the Raspberry Pi and uh, then sh the FFNA browser should run uh, because I have an auto start item configured and uh, then uh, the F11 key should uh, be pressed by the X server, by XDo tool, by command XDo tool. So the FFN is running. The panorama just started. But now it's switched to full screen mode via the Elf F11 key. Uh, the script. Uh, for the panorama is uh, on the backend server and on this backend uh, it's, ju it's just a PHP script with just few lines of code uh, and a jQuery slider. We can switch views, cameras uh, with, uh, with the touch screen. This is another view. I have uh, three views totally and it refreshes, refreshes every four seconds. So this is a full screen slider adjusted to uh, this resolution, to the resolution of this display. I think it's 800 to 480 pixels, but I'm not quite sure. It's a 7 inch base uh, display. So you can see the people moving on the live view. And it can, it, it can be switched real touch. I used older Debian Wheezy image because it has better compatibility instead of Jesse and I also created a desktop icon when uh, for if the auto start should for any reason fail then you can just double click on the LCD screen, the uh, panorama icon, and it sh should execute a FFNA browser and uh, toggle out uh, toggle full, full screen automatically. So that's it. That's my Kiosk mode on a Raspberry Pi 2 and a 7-inch HDMI display. That's all, folks.